my name is Linda. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you can join me today. I've got a lot of fun in store for you. So what are we waiting for? Let's get crafting. Today we are working on DIY farmhouse lemon decor. So let's get started with project number one. What I'm working with is an 8x8 wood panel from Arteza and I'll be using this Dixie Belle chalk paint in the color caviar and I'll use this caviar paint throughout all the projects today and I'm just going to paint all around the edges of this wood panel. I'm also using one of these wood planks from Dollar Tree and these are some square dowels that I uh, angle cut with my miter box and saw and I did this because I'm going to use these to just kind of make a little frame around this wood plank here and I'm just using my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue which I will use throughout all the projects today to glue down this uh, framing around this wood piece. And this holds perfectly wonderful. I didn't feel the need to pull out wood glue. Um, Beacon Fabri-Tac glue holds anything. I love it. I've used it for years and this is also a lightweight sign so it's going to hold these pieces just fine. And then once I get this all glued together I will go ahead and paint it as well in the Dixie Belle chalk paint. Now I'm going to be um, painting some pieces today. I'm just going to show you one of each, a whole lemon, a lemon slice, and a cute little bee. These are all wood pieces. Um, they come in all different sizes that I'll be using on all the projects today, but I wanted to show you at least one of each. I will have links in the description box for you so that you could order these if you'd like to. These are so super cute. I have been doing so much lemon decor lately, and those of you that have been with me a while, Yep, here we are again, but I love these. So I'm just painting the whole and half lemons in that yellow Arteza paint. And then I'm using Waverly White chalk paint to paint the slice of the lemon. And I will usually do two or three coats of each piece. And I'll paint like the lemons, I'll paint, you know, I finish the back sides. Coming in on the B, I'm going to do the black paint along the head and the antenna. I'll do two coats on that. I love this B because the antenna are little hearts. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so stinking cute. Coming in with the white chalk paint on the wings, I'll just paint one side on this because we will glue this down. I'll come in and heat set everything so I can go back in for another coat. So I wanted to take the time to just show you the process of these of course and then like I said all I would do all the rest off camera because I will use a lot of these throughout all the projects today. Here I'm coming in for my second coat and I don't think I show painting the back sides of these but you will see later they are painted. Second coat on the slice perfect and then we're going to come on the body of the bee. I'll do a couple of coats of yellow on this. These are so easy to paint and so cute. So cute. Another coat on the bee. But a lot of my painting, you know, obviously I just cut off because you don't need to see that. But these I do like to show you them because they are more of a decorative type element for our projects. Now I'm going to come in with my pencil on the B and I'm just going to draw a couple of lines here so that I know where to paint. I'm going to come in with a fine tip brush with the black paint. And we're going to just kind of draw our cute little, you know, lines on our B body as bees usually do. Have these cute little separations. Oh my gosh, the other day I saw the cutest fattest bumbly bee I've ever seen in my life. I wanted to hold it. Of course, I didn't dare touch it, but I wanted to hold it. It was so cute and fuzzy. Drying this bee off. And I'm going to come in with some white paint and some water. I'm going to mix it so it's nice and thin. I'm going to come in with my fan brush, tap off the excess, and then I just take my finger, tap it on my fan brush to add splatters to my bees and lemons before I glue anything else down. Now we're going to come in and I'm going to glue down the slice on top of my half lemon here. Super cute. Got my bee wings all glued and these are what they look like. Now I've got a piece of this wood here. I got at Home Depot with poplar wood. It big, long, I mean I don't know how long it was for like two dollars and some cents. So I've got one here I cut off and I'm just sanding down the edges about six inches long here. And I've got some of these tumbling tower block pieces from Dollar Tree, of course. So I'm going to come in and paint these. You probably really don't need to paint these, but I'm always, you know, like, fear that 
even though these are going to be kind of underneath something that someone would be able to see them at a certain angle so I like to paint around the edges now I'm coming in and I'm showing you on this one piece of paper I will do this on all the papers throughout all my projects today but I'm only going to show you on this one yes I do take it to my sewing machine just sewing on it like it's regular fabric size 10 or 11 needle tensions on four all polyester thread for my machine because that's what it likes and a stitch length of four and this is what it looks like and yes like I said every single piece of paper will get this uh, detail on it then I also like to take the open end of my scissor blades and I scrape along the edges of every sheet of paper this allows me to have that rustic look and I'll show you here this on top is got the rustic look the bottom doesn't so you can see which one you like best it's a detail you don't have to add that's personal preference using again the beacon fabri -Tac glue I've got some black cardstock here I'm going to glue it onto the back of my sign so it's finished off I'll add a that cute plaid yellow plaid to the middle of my sign here and this paper I'm gluing onto our little sign we made, I'll end up changing that later. So I've got four whole lemons and four half slices I'll be using on this project today. I'm just cutting up some, uh, uh, what do you call those? Wood sticks, craft sticks here. I'm doubling them just on the back of my whole lemons so that when I put them down, they are the same height as the half lemons because the half lemon is a double layer. So it sits a little higher. So I put cut the uh, wood craft sticks up, glued two pieces together, and glued them to the back of my whole lemon so that everything lays level. And here I'm just kind of laying them in place right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue the tumbling tower blocks to the little sign, four of them. And then I'm gonna glue two to the little rectangle sign here that we painted just a little bit ago. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I've already glued a couple down, but we'll go ahead and glue the rest of our lemons and lemon slices down. I love this sign, it's so cute. I know, I know my people, I'm still doing lemon stuff. I hope you are still enjoying them. We'll slow down soon. I've got a few more videos coming up with just a, a project or two of lemons and then we'll move on to something else, I promise. But these just make me happy. All right, those are glued in place. Here's where I changed the center of the paper. It was bees. I decided to change it to polka dot and then we're gonna add a little cardstock there. And then I'm gonna add some cardstock to our little sign here in just a minute cardstock to a yellow piece of paper that will add to our rectangle sign. I have made some quotes on my Cricut design space. This says Sunny Lane and it's in the font Charlotte. I will list all the fonts to my projects in the description box. So Sunny Lane is part of the title. And then this one um, is DK Lemon Yellow font. This will say Lemon Market. And you can see I've got them spread apart here be for a reason. And all my fonts are free from defont.com. Here's one of our bees. I've added some white curly wire to it, punching a hole in our paper here. I'm gonna add the wire of that bee through that hole and then we will glue it onto that rectangle piece of wood that we painted. That way we have a little movement with our bee. Super, super cute. Here we are putting it on to our little sign. Perfect, and then going to glue a lemon right in between our lemon market, adding a little double twine into a bow here and a little wood heart from my supply. I'm going to glue right on top. Then we're going to glue in our square little sign here we made right in the center of those lemons. And then we're going to glue the rectangle sign right at the bottom here. And once I glue this on, this project is complete.
Today's video is part of the first round in the Creative Champion Contest hosted by Heidi Sombel. There are nine girls in this round with only six moving forward to round two after the votes have been cast. Here are all the projects that you'll be able to vote on and voting is so easy. What you'll do is just click on the link in my description box to Heidi's video where you'll be able to see all the projects up close and personal in her video and then she'll explain how easy it is to vote. With that said, let's take a look at my entry for this first round. I really hope you like how this turned out. This is just my vision. I wanted to make a cute little signpost which way to Sweet Life Lane or Lemonade Way or Sunshine Valley with the cute little lemons and bees. But then of course I also wanted you to know, you know, where you were at. And of course at the bottom of my signpost, you are here. To see how this entire project is made, again, make sure you click on the video link to Heidi's uh, video where you can see the entire start to finish process as well as all the other submissions and you can cast your vote for your favorite. So with that said, let's move on to project number two. For this project, I'm going to alter a rolling pin. I'm going to paint it again with the Dixie Belle chalk paint and the color caviar. Now, normally I just paint these and add my vinyl to the center, but I'm going to change this one up a little bit using an emery board and 80 grit sandpaper, my sanding block and distressing the entire rolling pin. So to change this up, I'm going to add some paper to my rolling pin. I've got everything sewn already and I already kind of distressed the edges with my scissors and I'm going to glue my piece of paper to the bigger piece to the center of my rolling pin. And before I added the glue, I kind of rolled my paper onto the rolling pin like this just to kind of break the fibers up a little bit so that it would glue easier. Again, use my Cricut Design Space for my cute little quote here and this font is called Ruthann super cute i love the little heart over the eye on sunshine so sunshine and lemons i wanted this one to look a little more vintage this project so and i think i achieved that with the ease of it being done so once i got my coat on there onto my cardstock i just glued that on and now i'm going to use some of this crochet trim from dollar tree i'm just going to cut off as much as i need and tie it into an easy bow just a little bow adding a little bit of beacon fabric tack right underneath the half knot of that bow there so it kind of stays in place well not kind of it will because I use some glue tying my bow here and then I'm going to come in I've got another B and a lemon slice and curly wire just like in the first project I'm going to glue that onto the center of the bow and once that's glued on this project is complete <music> your first time here welcome to my channel my name is Linda I love to do all sorts of DIYs from Dollar Tree DIYs to farmhouse to primitive to rustic even a little bit of paper crafting if you're enjoying what you're seeing today go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video from me let's move on now to project number three for this project, I'm going to use two of these shadow box houses from Dollar Tree and I got the back off of one of them and I'm going to use this to make the other house into a wood tag. I'm going to mark one side, use my crocodile to punch a hole and then I will take this to the other side of the house, mark that so I can come in and drill my hole on this side because this back is attached so I can't get my crocodile in there. Perfect. And once it's ready, I'm going to paint all the sides and or the whole house, everything ready to go, of course, with the caviar paint, Dixie Belle chalk paint. And now I'm tracing all my pieces of this house all around the edges onto my paper. And now, of course, I've sewed everything and I'm coming in with my scissor blades again and I'm distressing all the edges, scraping it along. I traced all the edges of the house, front and back, the sides. And now we're going to start gluing everything down. Forgot to sand my house, so I'm coming in to sand the outside of that. We're doing a couple of layers here. The front will have two layers, three layers here. 
kind of a stripe in the back, a cute yellow print, and then some black cardstock. The back will just have a stripe here. And I cut all my papers about an eighth of an inch short so that some of my wood would show. And then once I get my back covered, we're gonna go ahead and glue that on to our shadow box here so that our tag is complete, ready to go. Gonna go ahead and glue my side pieces on. Again, these strips are all cut about an eighth of an inch short all the way around so that all the edges of the wood will be seen around the paper. And I do that on the front when I layer on my paper too. Each layer is about an eighth of an inch shorter coming forward. And now I'm taking a fine point Sharpie marker and I'm just making some dash lines on my lemons. Since I sewed all my papers, I kind of wanted to add that detail to my wood pieces as well. And of course, can't run those through my sewing machine. I wish I could because I'd like that look a little better, but I think this turns out kind of cute. It just gives it a little bit more of a kind of a country look. I'll show you what this looks like in just a minute. Here you go, nice and easy. I'm gonna do on a little lemon as well. And you can see I don't have my wood slice yet because I need to punch a hole in the bottom layer. And yes, we're gonna add another B and I'm gonna punch a hole directly in the center of the little lemon. And now we'll go ahead and add the slice because that slice is gonna fit. I wouldn't have got my crocodile in there had I not punched the hole. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue the bee through that little hole. And I've got some double stick tape here. I'm gonna add a piece of this double stick tape as well, just to kind of hold that uh, bee down a little bit. And I'll peel off the other half of the double stick tape, add a little bit of yellow paper there, kind of keep that double stick tape in place. And now I'm adding on, here is my, again, Cricut Design Space. This one says Sweet Lemon Kisses all together. The Sweet Kisses is actually called Chris Master from Defont.com. Glue my lemon down and I'm adding some ephemera in here. I thought it'd be cute to almost make it a little bit scrapbooky. So I'm adding in some cute ephemera tags. Sweet Lemon Kisses are my favorite, of course, so that's what that little ephemera piece says. And I'm gluing some cardboard down here right against this big side of that whole lemon so that that half lemon will lay level right on top. Here comes my lemon word of the title, and this again is that DK Lemon Yellow font. So again, all together it says Sweet Lemon Kisses for the title of the tag. Now we'll go ahead and glue down our half lemon onto that cardboard and onto that wood lemon kind of covering up that ephemera piece a little bit. And then I have a little wood heart here from Dollar Tree. I added some paper to and I'm gonna add a little tiny clothespin also from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna glue that on so it stays in place. And then I'll glue the heart onto the left side of our whole lemon. And then I've got some stickers here I'm gonna use that I actually sewed onto some cardstock. This word says smitten. So now this is my journaling coming in. Sweet Lemon Kisses, they're my favorite. I'm smitten with them and they are amazing every day. So I thought that would just be kind of cute little journaling to you know, talk about our title. And I am just gluing this to a, a, a scrapbooking a cardboard word just to give it a little bit of elevation onto the half lemon. And now we're gonna go ahead, I'm using a long doll needle to get some white twine through the thickness of that tag. I'm gonna add the little whole lemon onto one side of that twine and I'm gonna take both of the ends of twine together and tie it in a knot right underneath that half lemon. I'm gonna add some wood beads uh, from my supply I painted, one on each side of that twine. Then I will tie a little knot after each of the bead and then cut off the excess and once this is done, this project is complete. So let's move on to project number four. So for this last project, I again cut some of that wood from uh, Home Depot and I cut them into six inch lengths, 
Again, painting him with the Dixie Belle chalk paint and the color caviar all the way around. And then I'm also using some skewers here, three skewers. And on all the skewers on one end, about an inch down, I want to flatten it just a little bit so it's not so bumpy. And so I'm just flattening it or sanding it against my sanding block. And then once that's done, I will paint the skewers in the same black. And now we're going to start covering all our pieces of wood. I've got cute yellow print down first. It's a real subtle check pattern. I know it's going to be hard to see, but... And then I'll put black cardstock on top of that. And again, I cut my papers down. The, the black cardstock is about an eighth inch shorter than the yellow paper so that you see all the edges of the paper. Then I glue down my skewer on the back and I cover that back completely with cardstock. And then you can see it's kind of nice and finished without being too bumpy. And I'll do the same. I'll finish the backs of the rest of them. And then I have a couple pieces of cardboard here I painted in black and I'm just adding some little cardstock to the pieces of these. And my Cricut Design Space today, these two little words say today and sweet in the DK lemon font, yellow lemon font. Melt like, yes, yeah, so troubles melt like lemon drops is the, the uh, quote for today. And the troubles and melt like is done in Baskerville. And then Lemon Drops here is done in the Chris Master font. Again, all from defont.com. And I'm going to add these cute words to the sides of the sign and these cute lemon blossom um, decor here that you can get from enablecase.com. And I will leave those links down below. So you can see I use one of the lemons for an O, and I'm adding a cute little lemon touch for on the other sign above the suite. And in this lemon blossom branch, I just marked where I needed to put the glue, turned it around, marked where I needed to put the glue so that I can glue it underneath the lemon drops. So today, troubles melt like sweet lemon drops. Now I've got one of these bees here again on long curly wire and I'm just using some floral tape and I'm adding it to one of the skewers, taping it on so that we'll be able to add it to our project in a little bit. Use some dry foam here, and I have this really cool water pitcher. I've had it for a couple years. I put some foam in the middle of it. We're going to be using some lemons from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby and some flowers from Dollar Tree as well as Hobby Lobby. These came from Hobby Lobby as well. And some onion grass from Dollar Tree. Any florals and flowers you want. I'm just going with whites and yellows. These cute little lemon ball things came from Hobby Lobby. And again, here's some wisteria from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use five lemons total, I think. So three larger ones and a couple of smaller ones and just putting them onto the skewers I painted. We're going to make a little lemon and flower bouquet here with our cute little quote in uh, the bouquet as well. I'm just cutting everything, getting it ready. Now some of the pieces, you know, I had to add skewers and stuff to them. So did that off camera so they'll be able to stick them into the foam. Change my view here a little bit. So I'm just kind of adding in the lemon grass, adding in some lemons and some of those tall uh, paper flowers from Hobby Lobby. And I'm adding in some of the other roses from Hobby Lobby, adding in some greenery from Dollar Tree here. I added in those cute little lemon balls and some of the flowers, just showing you a little bit of ranging. So basically you're just going to arrange your lemons and flowers and greenery how you want. And then I'm tucking in my sign around the top edge of my flowers and lemons. You'll get a better look at it in a minute. I know this is kind of a weird view. It's the best I could do here. And then I've got some of those wood lemons that we've been using on the other project. I added those to skewers as well. And I'm tucking in a few of those into the bouquet. I love how this turned out. And then I'm adding in a couple of bees. I did a couple of bees so they look like they're flying over the flowers. I've got some plaid ribbon here and I just did four or five loops either direction, pleating it back and forth. I'm adding a slit, a little quarter inch slit on each end and some wire. And I'm just going to twist that wire through those slits. And this allows me once I twist the wire shut to be able to take my loops and twist them and turn them into any position I want. That's why we kind of make slits in them. So, so you can see here, I turn and twist them. And I'm gonna do one more ribbon the same way. I'll just kind of show pleating it. I'm gonna use some Dollar Tree ribbon, pleating it back and forth on camera. And then I will add the wire and everything uh, like I did the other one. And I will put the two and wire them together and onto a skewer. 
So here's the ribbon I'm using. It is from Dollar Tree. I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit. Here it is all connected onto a skewer with floral tape, and I'm going to tuck it right next to the handle and arrange the flowers a little bit. And once I get this in, this project is complete. So I hope you enjoyed all the projects that I came up with today. Leave me a comment down below and of course let me know which project was your favorite. Give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and like what you saw, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video from me. Remember today's video is part of the first round in the Creative Champion Contest hosted by Heidi Sample. So if you want to go place your vote and see what everybody else made, make sure you click on the link to Heidi's video to check that out. Also, my video is part of a hop. So I will have the link to the next person in line so you can go check out all the creative projects that she made. This hop cycle will be complete when you come back around to my channel. I want to leave you with one last thought. God loves you at this moment as much as he ever will. He will not love you any less if you don't do something in your life or you don't live up to something. Just Strive to live your life enjoying great moments, thriving on his immeasurable love. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.